receiving the African leaders who came to St. Petersburg to meet with you as part of the African Peace Mission. We want to thank you for listening to us. And we also thank you for explaining to us the situation that you are involved in. We covered a number of issues that are related to this crisis and we have agreed to take the con to continue with the discussions and we also take the discussions forward when we come to the Africa-Russia summit in, in July, so we thank you for that. We are also here to discuss the bilateral relations between Russia and South Africa and we will be able to cover a number of issues including the BRICS summit and a number of other issues that have to do with our cooperation. I think that during our formal and informal talks we have managed to discuss the major details of the serious crisis that you have come to help us resolve here. We have agreed with We'll talk about our bilateral cooperation and cooperation in international organizations, including BRICS. Well, I think our mission was uh, impactful. Its real success obviously will be measured on the ultimate objective of stopping the war. But the impact that it has had is that one, we were listened to as we gave an African perspective on the war that's having a negative consequences for our continent. And secondly, we probably the only group that has engaged the two leaders within a short space of time to put forward a very strong proposal and view that the war must end. And as it is now, the continent Africa is going to have a summit with Russia, which is the second summit the first one having been held a few years ago. And we will continue our discussions with President Putin then. And in the intervening period, we'll also be talking to President Zelensky because we also want to know his response to a number of the other issues we raised. 